Some called it a creepy, crawly invasion. Mulberry and pecan trees draped in dense white webbing last summer, all due to perfect weather for the harmless, though hungry, fall webworm. Multiple generations in one season gave some neighborhoods the look of an early Halloween, and now the webworm war is starting up again. Spring brings them all back, flowers, songbirds, and the hated Hyphantria cunea, the webworm. And when did you first see them this year? About three weeks ago. Local bug experts are getting calls earlier this year because the worms are turning out early or because worried homeowners are still grossed out from last year. 2007 was the heaviest local webworm infestation on record with multiple generations lasting through October. Last year was the worst that we've ever seen. We went along with exterminators treating several yards in Colleyville. Scott Marlar's trees were inundated last year, and as soon as he saw the first web this year, he called the experts. And here it is, only May. Yeah, and they already started. The worms are actually harmless and rarely kill trees. Some recommend ignoring them, but the worms can easily take over an entire backyard. This poor tree was just covered. Pesticide sprays kill them and break apart the webs, which protect the worms from wasps and birds, but even sprays won't prevent them from coming back later. It just keeps them from taking over. Uh, I think people are just being more proactive mm -hmm. about it. I think they're a little more concerned after last year's uh, um, infestation mm -hmm. and devastation. A voracious North Texas native that's ready to invade treetops again. And most entomologists say neighbors are better off treating several yards at once if they're lined up together since the worms can so easily travel from one tree to another.